Hey, uh, welcome to Sable Spirit. I'm Mark, and today I will show you a quick retrospective of the series after 18 videos being posted, uh, so that if you want to start the series, you actually know what you are getting into. Right, so I will show you quickly uh, what does the game look like and tell you what will be in the series after that. So let's have a quick look at the game, shall we? Um, here is what we have yet. Uh, we have a main view, which is the universe view, and we have an upgrade view, which is the consciousness core upgrade. So we have two main resources. We have consciousness cores, which are used to buy upgrades and technologies, and we have Stardust, which is, well, the main currency. Let's think of it as the main currency, right? So. At first, the game is prompting us to actually get familiar with the consciousness core view before doing anything else. And we can buy the very first upgrade, which is the passive status generation, right? So here we start generating the main resource of the game. Generating status will then create more consciousness cores based on the milestone system. Every X amount of starters generated, we will have one more consciousness core. We have a very few basic set of upgrades, which are the, <laughs> think of it as the tutorial of the game, before you actually unlock the nebulas, which is the very first feature of the game. So we haven't got into nebulas yet. That's what we will be doing. Uh, I think we are around episode 16 or something. We will get into nebulas very quickly, and that's for later. <laughs> so yeah, that that's it for the game we have so far. Um, about the series, uh, what you will find really is a tutorial, but through the form of what I would call a code through series. Um, I'm mostly showing you the entire process of making this game. I'm showing you every line of code, every setting, every node I create, etc., etc., uh, because I actually want you to not miss on anything that I consider is basic or I consider is that's the kind of thing they could do on their own. Um, making a game and sticking to a project and transforming a prototype into an actual game can be a very complicated process, especially when you don't know how to do it, where to go, what is the next logical step. And there is one thing that is very much left out in all the tutorials that you find on YouTube. The light is very bad. Um, it is that you don't learn really refactoring Refactoring, which allows you to have some code in a specific state, which then later on evolves into something more complex, or you actually need to rewire a few things. That's the kind of things which are a lot of workload in making a game. But you don't have this in tutorials. Tutorials always consider things in separate units and then when you're trying to make a game out of it it can be very complicated because refactoring and working with a project that already, ha already has some code in it can be very complicated when you are really getting into programming. So yeah, that's the point of this series. You actually first learn the very simple basic features prototypes which show you if you want to make your own game that's how you make a clicker that's how you make a generator that's how you make an upgrade that's how you make an unlock system etc etc but then uh, i don't just leave you with those blocks and tell you well now you're on your own no no here we are really going through a to D, how we make the game and every line of code 
what we are adding, what we are removing, what we are reworking, etc. etc. At the same time, you will be able to find uh, a public Git repository with all the um, history of the project. So you will be able to pick up on that. So if you even want to take the project um, in the middle, you can anytime just go on Git, clone the project, grab the exact version of the game that you want to have and pick it up at, and there you go, All right? So I think it's enough blah blah for this uh, small intro videos, and I'll let you jump right in the tutorial and what you actually want to be learning.